There's three ways to tell volatility skews, by the way. You can tell what your volatility skews are by the profile of your T plus zero line. The profile and the, your delta combination across your butterfly, you can get a good feel from it there. You can also tell what your volatility skews are simply by looking at, if you set this to mid implied volatility, you can just simply look at the numbers. You can, you can see what the difference is between your strikes, okay? And if you do that every month, you'll, you'll get a good idea for what those normally are. You'll get a good idea for what the differences typically are, and you can tell what the skews are there. And the third and the recently more popular way of deal, dealing with or the more traditional is to come in, come in to think or swim and look at product depth. You can, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do just the volatility and the puts for now because it's just simpler to explain. You can choose your expirations. Okay, in this case, I do a March 17th expiration. I come in here and I just select the range that's applicable, right? So the market's at, this is for the Russell, so the Russell's at 1352. You know, what's relevant here, the only relevant information is maybe 100 points down, and a, 150 down, and maybe 100 points up. So I can come in here and I can just block off from to about 1200 or 1450. And realistically, this is the only relevant, relevant information available on this. 